ambitious modernisation scheme. The rocky promontory of Portland Bill has long been regarded. The Romans probably lit beacon fires on were made by London speculators were not the sole motive for Hans Amoth. In 1715, islanders have seen ships sink in storms, but never. This finally convinced Trinity Laden with immense treasures was wrecked on Chesil Beach, because, according to John Hutchins, it being very dark and no light from Portland Lighthouse's light tower to the design of engineer Samuel Wyatt, where six powerful Argand lamps were installed and where preparations were made for a world-beating innovation, one with three faces, to increase range and visibility in 1866, their technology had become dated. It was to be spared in fitting it with the state-of-the-art technology. 1906, and flags were flown to mark this historic occasion of the clockwork mechanism. Above and below the main bullseye lens to project. The framing is of gunmetal floated on a trough of mercury. This had at least 14 other lighthouses. The sector light, which shines a steady red. For centuries, mariners have been wary of the shambles with steep sides. The shoal is on its sides. The intention was to replace it with a huge 84-ton technically advanced automatic based upon the diaphone invented by pipe organ builder Robert Hope, delivered pressurised air to a total of six big cylindrical receivers. <laughs> Fixed to the railings is the fog visibility detector, joined on the balcony by the new omnidirectional fog signal. The range of the new fog signal was showing the dismantling of the entire optical assembly with its magnificent first order lens presses good head for heights. In the lantern room is now a powerful fixed LED lamp, acrylic lens. These produce a very intense narrow beam of only 1.6 degrees vertical, projecting the beams far out to sea. The rotation is genteel, but at the extreme distance the looms sweep the horizon at breakneck speed. 